I'm never gonna even know if I could have made it if I don't try. And trying, for me, was cutting everything off that wasn't going in the direction that I wanted to be going in. And I knew at that point it was, it was portraits, it was creating something. I didn't really want to be documenting something. I had something to say, and I still didn't know what that meant, but I knew I had something to say. Last year, I did a series of portfolio reviews, and one of the things that I hammer home to people is you have to create work that's true to who you are, that is uh, pleasing to you and nobody else. And so I went home and I had to ask myself, what are you doing that you really want to do? And I didn't have an answer for that. And that's where my fine art work started to take shape. I'm someone who likes to affect things and I like to create and control. And so I think I use photography in a more selfish way, I guess you could say. Wrestling through some of these ideas around identity for myself. And so it's me kind of asking a lot of these questions. What's important to me? Who am I? How do I view others? How do I want to be viewed by others? This is the same person, but I wanted to see what happens when you take the same person and you dress them as seven different characters. All of those things that you're responding to are elements that say nothing about that person in terms of who they are. That's the same person. We're just picking up on these cues. There was all these ideas and things that I was pushing out for various reasons. I was afraid or I didn't think that clients would want that or you know, all kinds of reasons. And so that's when I started to really get serious about thinking about what do I want to do and what do I want my work to look like. Anyone can mimic your lighting or the things that you do. It's not hard to access information like it used to be. But the one thing that you can't copy or replicate is someone's decision making process. That's the only thing that can allow you to be unique, allow you to be an individual, and especially when we're talking about the creation of art. I think anytime you've seen people who are successful or great or create things that last, it's because they had some knowledge of themselves and they had knowledge of what they wanted to say. And I think hopefully that's the next step is combining all this information we've learned with that self-reflection.